This is a short podcast to uh, go through the problems and solutions of urban settlements, the reference to an LEDC looking at Cairo. Um, these pictures show us a variety of the different problems in, in Cairo. Uh, we can see in this image here in the middle, uh, litter, huge amount of litter produced because there's so many people living there. And this causes a lot of problems, they need to dispose of the litter um, and there's no place to do that. Uh, buildings are often run down and dilapidated. There is poor supply of electricity, there is poor sanitation, and this leads to diseases. Traffic is a very big problem. Lots of congestion, so people can't get around the city as quickly as they like. And also there's lots of fumes and pollution that goes into the air, and this causes people health problems. Uh, respiratory diseases, um, things such as asthma as well, are increased. If we scroll through some more of the images, we can see the idea of uh, transport as being a big problem further down, as well as the poor quality of buildings. Another issue is the water supply, and here we have it in one of the slum towns. Uh, because there's not enough housing, people build their own houses, so there's one of these slums here. Uh, and there's poor supply of clean water, um, and that's a big issue that spreads disease as well. On, we can see one of the examples of the slum is the City of the Dead. So if you're looking for a case study name of a slum, City of the Dead in Cairo, Egypt. And there we have it, very densely populated area, poor sanitation, poor supply of electricity, high diseases, low life expectancy. So Cairo needed to do something, needed to solve these problems, and this picture illustrates nicely what they've done to solve the problem of dense poor uh, buildings. They've redeveloped the area, they've put in green spaces to create areas that people can go to, a pleasant environment, it's improved the environment. They've built new buildings, they've provided new buildings so there are jobs created so people have, are able to earn money. Donkey carts, they've licensed donkey carts to collect garbage so people can collect litter. This has the effect of one, creating jobs for people who live in Cairo, and two, litter is increased, uh, litter collection is increased, and three, there's no pollution from the donkeys, there is no air pollution rather than getting large trucks to collect the rubbish. And also to solve the traffic problem, they've built a nice new modern metro system, underground railway, and this allows people to travel around the city and get to jobs very easily, um, and that has reduced congestion.